everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to create the marble effect on a plaque cookie using fondant. The first thing you want to do is create your marble effect. Now, I have two ways I do this. One is to take two different colors of fondant and twist them together and create the effect. Another way you can do it is take your desired food coloring. I'm using today Americolor on satinized fondant and you just want to put a little dab of food coloring on your fondant. Okay, I'm using black to create this effect which is like a black gray marble. You then want to twist it together and knead it. I'm trying to do it so I don't get black on my hands but didn't really work earlier. You don't want to twist it together too much and knead it too much because then it's just going to look like you're um, combining the colors to make a black color. Once you've done it just a little bit, you can see you start to roll out and get a marble look. This one's a very light one because I didn't put too much black in. I already have one that's done and it looks like this. This one I put a little more black in so you can see the streak. You then want to take some water or cornstarch and you'll put it on your cookie. And it's as simple as that. If you want to create the look I have here on the cookie with the frame and the flower, you just take a mold. I'm using a mold here that is a small frame mold. And I'm going to use gum paste for this. You want to put a little bit of cornstarch inside the mold so that it doesn't stick. You then stick in the gum paste into the mold. Now I do it in little pieces. Uh, there's all different ways to do this. It's whatever works for you. Some people like to roll out entire uh, piece of gum paste or fondant. I just prefer it this way because I just find it easier. Okay, once you get it in all the little crevices, what I do is I put some Crisco on my fingers and I just try to break away the outer pieces. Again, everyone has a different method. Um, this one just happens to work best for me. And I'm just breaking away all the pieces on the outside because I just want the frame itself. I don't want anything else. And I'm trying to get it as best as possible so that I don't need to use any kind of tool after taking this out of the mold. However, if you need to use a tool, you can use something like this. Okay, once you have cleaned it up as best as possible, you should wait probably a couple minutes before taking it out of the mold just to ensure that it's hard enough. If you want, you can add some cornstarch to the top. And I then turn over the mold and I peel it away from the bottom. I just find this easier with uh, certain molds like frames because they sometimes break apart so it's easier for me to just do it from upside down. And there is your frame. So this will be placed on my cookie and to affix it I'll probably just use water or um, gum glue. And the last thing I need to do is add my flour. So I'm going to take some bread Again, this is satin ice, and I'm going to take a mold I have with a small flower in the center. The molds I'm using, I will put in the info so you know where I bought these molds. And both people who I bought these from have Instagram, so you can easily look at all the type of molds they have. Okay, and there's a little bit of cornstarch on my flower, so I'm just going to put some Crisco at the top. Uh, you can also get rid of that by just adding some water. And 
affix it to your frame. And there you have a marble effect plaque cookie. Thanks for watching.